to deal with the nation's fuel shortage brought on by the coldest winter in memory. This is Gary Shepard reporting on the CBS radio network. After the cabinet meeting, it was announced that Mr. Carter has declared the states of New York and Pennsylvania federal disaster areas because of the extreme cold. And he will sign emergency aid legislation for the state of Florida on Monday because of crop losses there from freezing weather. The president also discussed the possibility of urging industry to go on a four-day work week because of the cold wave energy emergency. White House Press Secretary Jody Powell briefed reporters on the cabinet meeting, and CBS News correspondent Bill Plant has that story. There are some serious problems with that four-day, ten-hour-a-day work week, which the president talked about earlier this afternoon, according to his new secretary, Jody Powell. Powell says the idea was originally proposed for government employees, but that unless it can be legislated in the president's emergency energy package, it probably won't work. Powell also told reporters that energy chief James Schlesinger warned the special cabinet meeting this afternoon that there would be no miraculous cures for the shortage of natural gas and that the weather picture for February, in Schlesinger's words, looks terrible. Agriculture Secretary Bob Berglund wants the public to know that there will be no shortage of fruits and vegetables despite the severe weather in Florida, and Powell cautioned the public against panic buying. Bill Plant, CBS News, at the White House. More on the weather story in a moment. Super President Carter met in an emergency session about an hour and a half ago with his cabinet, and not surprisingly enough, they talked about our weather. Help is on the way. I'm going to declare New York and Pennsylvania under the Federal Disaster Relief Act uh, eligible for emergency assistance immediately because of the uh, snow and ice and the extreme cold. President Carter tells us we're not alone in this devastating storm. We have 11 states that I believe are in some degree of, of crisis. Uh, six of them are because of the recent uh, blizzard, the weather, snow, extreme cold, and uh, all of them some degree with a severe energy shortage. We have between 8,000 and 8,500 factories that have been closed down already. And this uh, has put out of work about a half million people. Well, he talks about those half a million people. Many are listening to us at this hour stuck at their work ever since Friday morning. The best of luck to you. Besides closing all the schools for one week beginning on Monday, Six, authority, right? state, and federal both want us to go to a four-day work week during this energy crisis. We would like to shift to... Yeah. Perhaps a uh, four-day work week with 10 days to 10 hours per day, but there are legal prohibitions against this now. We can save a great deal of fuel, both in government buildings and also in commercial uh, buildings, if we could just heat the buildings four days a week instead of uh, five days a week. That's President Carter lending his federal hand to the crisis here in the western New York community. Repeating once again, all gas-heated schools in the entire New York State area have been shut down for one week, beginning on Monday. This advice, too, from WKBW, if you have a neighbor that you haven't seen in a while, check on those people just to make sure they are okay. WKBW News has learned that high-level officials from Albany will be here in Buffalo tomorrow to review the chaos caused by the blizzard and to make decisions on emergency aid to the city and, in fact, for all of western New York. One crucial, crucial decision that is expected to be made tomorrow is whether our National Guard should be activated. Uh, let me give you right now the AccuWeather forecast again before we turn it back to Super Shannon. Hey, thank you. A blizzard-like condition will continue for tonight. <laughs> Windy and extremely cold through tomorrow night with snow, blowing snow, and drifting snow. Additional accumulations in the city, four to eight more inches tonight. Our low will go down to three degrees below zero. The high on Sunday, five to ten above. Continued windy with cold readings on Monday with additional snow accumulations. As of 7 o'clock tonight, our reading was at plus 2 degrees. Our wind chill factor right now is at minus 49. This is John Clemens, KB Radio News. Thank you, John. I just want to put this in here before we move along. Here we got the Seneca Babcock Community Center is open for anyone in the area that needs shelter and food. 
snowmobiler is willing to help people in the Lancaster town line and Chittawaga to Pew area. If you need that help, you call 681, that's 681, 8727, or 681 3490. That's 681 3490, or 681 8727. Four people at 251 Normal Avenue in Buffalo have no food, and one of the young ladies is pregnant. <laughs> That's a 251 Normal Avenue in Buffalo. They have no food. One lady is pregnant. To help, call 886-4219.